Well, look, firstly, I think the first thing to do was to understand exactly what was being ruled out. Um, we had quite a few discussions with the ECB around what a possible tour could look like. Um, we um, in, the, in Cricket West Indies obviously had our internal discussions as well. At no point in time we forced anybody to come. Um, you know, everybody had their free will. And I just think it's a case where at some point uh, uh, or the other, we had to resume some kind of normalcy. You know, we have been assured by the ECB that relevant protocols have been put in place. And so far, since we've gone here, everything has been smooth. Yeah, we haven't trained, uh, started trainers yet. The guys, we came in yesterday and we were tested. Um, so we're just awaiting the results. I think they'll all be back tomorrow. But prior to leaving the Caribbean, we were all tested as well. It was obviously negative and we were able to travel. Them. But part of the whole procedure was being tested upon arrival as well. And we did that yesterday and should have those results back by tomorrow. And I think by tomorrow, we should start freeing up and starting to, to do a little bit more activity. Cricket one. Yeah, we obviously have the, the different um, measures in place in terms of distancing and I'm pretty much getting accustomed to the new protocols that will be in place and obviously no saliva on the balls, obviously less contact in terms of celebrating and these kind of things. So again, we need to sit down with the players and just run through it, run through it all, which we haven't had the opportunity to do. Um, no doubt once we get it all clear. We've obviously beaten England in the recent past and we would no doubt ever forget that, but to live in the past I think is wrong and not the right way to go about it. England is a very, very good side in, the, in, their, in their home conditions, you know, and stats would definitely prove that. So again, we might have won last year, January, but this is July, or this is going to be July 2020. You know, so many different things have changed um, from then to now, conditions being one of them. And England out, or to, to say that we are favourites and uh, ahead of England, I think would be wrong. You know, England is still a higher ranked side than us, and I think they're favourites in their backyard. And it's all, all the more for us to play for. You know, we've got that that extra motivation to beat England in England. You know, so lots to play for, lots to motivate you uh, as a group. And I can be assured that the guys are really pumped up for the opportunity.